This playthrough is rated M for Mature. We're finally leaving Greenhope, fleeing before Abundance gets here, after shedding light on the activities of the Technomancers and weakening them. Not only did we sabotage their excavation site, but we also discovered the inhuman experiments they were carrying out on the defiant citizens of Aurora. We've won enough here for now, and hope they'll fall, along with the Dowser that's backing them, so they'll have to confront their madness. I even managed to get my hands on the serial killer who was stalking Shadow Lair. It may seem almost trivial, but it's still good news. Particularly as things are far from rosy, Marco's debatable choice has lost green hope to us. But we have to go on to the next chapter and keep moving forward. My brave Judy is with me, of course, as we march on the source. Her help and support will be invaluable to me. Because the tyrant will be well protected, and it's time we settled a few scores. This is the source. You know this place. You're gonna be our guide? When I was a kid, I was confined to the Technomancer's buildings. I wasn't allowed on these floors. Never mind. We'll find Wisdom's offices, and he'll have to admit what he's done in front of everyone. Yesterday's hero will see that we weren't fooled, and that the citizens of Aurora won't let him get away with it. But for now, be careful. The source guards have a mean reputation in combat. They don't scare me. You've been a good ally, despite my reservations. But I'm interested in knowing why you're here. By the way, when they mean they mean have a mean reputation, it just means they fight just like every other Aurora soldier and Technomancer, so it's not going to be any different. Maybe they hit a little bit harder, but I don't recall them doing anything extra different, different even on no matter what the setting. But anyway, yeah, we don't believe in you just because, you know, what you did to Green Hope. And we hate Technomancers, but that's down the path to hate, and hate leads to suffering? But no, we just... We want Avenge, even though Avenge is probably not good either, but Innocence didn't deserve what happened to him. Innocence was put to death in front of my eyes. He didn't deserve to end up like that. Wisdom and his thugs will pay, I swear it. Alright, now we're inside the source, the final section of the game, and we have to fight a bunch of techno, uh, a bunch of Aurora soldiers and Technomancers. Um, so, Marco, yeah, for not killing Marco, he actually assists us, so now we have a third person helping us through this whole building, so... Yeah, if you're playing on expert mode, it probably would be a good idea not to kill Marco. Um, yeah, pretty much just easy. With, with a third person, it makes it a lot easier to fight these guys. Oh, stunned you. Nice. All right. Yeah, just finish him off. The only problem is if you're the, like the last guy, they'll still go after you anyway, even though they should. Ah. Yeah, those stun batons are, are painful, man. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have high electrical resistance stuff on you, you know? Right, you're dead. Or down, I guess. Not technically dead. Nice. Alright. Yeah, these guys just hit about the same as before. Yeah, might as well grab some last minute stuff, why not? We could probably make make some more health injectors, because I bought like a bunch of health injectors and fluid injectors, so when it came down to it, if I really want to, I'll just, you know, spam heal and stuff like that. But with three people, it shouldn't be too bad. I think the there's like one the only problem is since I don't have charismatic leader, they won't last as long, which is sad. Like I said, I was hoping I would get it by this point, but I guess because of some early mistakes at the beginning of the game that I uh misdid some options, they um uh, um I can't go in there. Oh, too bad. Um, yeah, a bit of a different animation for going through here. So, yeah, I decided to show that off. Um, because of some minor mistakes, I didn't act, I didn't get charismatic leader, which is weird. I didn't kill anyone. And even if you make a few bad decisions in some of the choices, that shouldn't affect it that badly. You know what I mean? Yeah, off, off screen, there's a 
Yeah, resistance members fighting Aurora. So, so they're doing their part. We just have to do our part. All right. Yeah, more resistance or more Aurora soldiers. Let's get a charge on him, just so I can do a bit more damage. Go through this guy a little bit faster. Hey, hey, don't hit me. Hey, dude, there's like multiple dudes there. Fight them. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll fight you. Oh, nope. Oh, ah. There we go. Oh, nope. Fine, I'll just blast you. I have, I have plenty of ammo. Wait, doesn't he have a shield on? Shouldn't you be hurt when you attack him? Huh. Apparently, uh, al uh, NPC allies are uh, immune to the shield, apparently. There we go. Back up, back up. All right. Not too bad. Although, like I said, being on expert mode, there's still chances that I could die because they get a good, good couple of hits on me. Could take me out, so. And that's the difficulty setting, not because of the everything else. All right, anything else around here? I probably don't need to really do much exploration just because, like, I'm pretty much good for the rest of the game on this, so. Oh. Oh, we got a different, we got a different Technomancer here. Ooh. Oh, nope. Ow. Oh, wow. Ah, what the? <laughs> okay. Heal. I was like, who hit me? Oh, there's the guy. Oh, ah. Oh, that's right. He's got a, I forgot they finally give him masks at this point. At the very ending. Ooh, ouch. Okay, fine. Yeah, I completely forgot about that, actually. Like, even though I play tested this, I, it was one of those things you don't really pay attention to until it happens. You're like, oh, right, they finally give him mass at the, like, the very end of the game. All right. Oh, wait, no, you've got to. Ah, I didn't get out of the way in time. Ah, oh, that is so cheap. <laughs> And that's why I bought a, bought a bunch. I was wondering why I bought a bunch of nail gun stuff. I was like, oh right, it's probably because of the. Oh, well, I didn't roll out of that one in time. All right, cool. We'll do it again. All right, we just gotta just gotta keep him on his toes. Take care of. Now we're just gonna keep you distracted. Oh, nope, come on. Oh, he's exploding. Yeah, I just had to. I just had to be super aggressive with him. Should have just done that in the first place. I don't know. Why I was trying to. I have plenty of nail gun ammo. I can afford to, like, blast these guys like that. This is what I get for trying to be nice to, to the enemies, you know? Oops. Yeah, for some reason, the allies weren't spreading out and fighting multiple people, so. Oh well. Oh, took out Judy. Yeah, come after me. At least some people can still be hit by Sam by this point. But yeah, I actually, I actually did forget that the um, Technomancers eventually they eventually gave him head coverings to not not one shot him every time. Oh, he doesn't have a mask on, so I get a. There we go. Well, at least it's not as bad as accidentally losing to uh, the Technomancer boss in the previous area just because I wasn't paying attention. Because, yeah, that guy wasn't hurt. It's just, uh, you know, okay, not grab his stuff because he's too close to the door. Ah, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, so we're at the end of the game. I really don't need to grab that much more stuff. Yeah. But how do they know that I was throwing sand in everyone's faces? 
yeah, news reports like, uh, sir, we've we've had reports of uh, a guy keeps throwing sand in people's eyes every other second. Um, I don't know what that's all about, but all right, let's go ahead and make another save here. Oh, is that save slots? This game has 50 save slots. I've used them all. Well, actually, I still have save slots from a previous uh, game. Oh, we got two Tetanomancers now. Yeah, this is where things get a little... Oops, that's not what I actually want to do. Get off me. There we go. Ah. Put on a shield. Now just keep blasting him. Until you break out of that shield thing. Uh oh. I took out one of my guys. Ooh. Ah, okay. Time for bombs. Alright, time for healing. Time for healing. I need to take out one of the, that other Technomancer. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep throwing bombs at you guys. I don't care. Out of your range? That's not fair. That, uh, that's a bit. That's a bit cheap. Let's heal again. Oh, he's about to blow. <laughs> he's gone from suck to blow. Oh, I keep. I keep forgetting to do recharge or overcharge. I mean. Oh well. But yeah, if I had natural, if I had charismatic leader, I would, uh, I'd be doing a lot, I'd be a lot more effective here because, uh, you know, Judy and Marco would last a lot longer. But, like I said, a mistake at the early of the game, at the beginning of the game messed me up so badly. Yeah, this is supposed to be a really tough fight just because of multiple Technomancers. Usually you never fight multiple Technomancers because of how annoying they are. But in this case, you know, they threw, they threw quite a few of them at you, but... No, we were able to handle it because I spanned bombs and all that, but hey, I had the money for it. Alright, let's, uh, I saved it mainly because I wanted to make sure for this part, so, alright, now we can save it again. Alright, let's go in. We're here, at the heart and soul of the source, ready to bring down a tyrant. Judy, I think just Marco and I should go on. Yeah, I get it. Everyone has a right to their little secrets. But, uh, watch out. You know now who Marco really is. And deceit is his ally. Don't worry. I wasn't born yesterday. I'll be back soon. friend. He was the leader of Aurora. I couldn't let him be dragged in front of an angry mob. Let the people judge him. You were going to debase Aurora in the eyes of the other guilds if you humiliated its dowser. I couldn't allow that. You've allowed a criminal to escape justice. A man that didn't budge while the Technomancers took power and massacred the militia. I was sure you wouldn't understand what was at stake here, but I'm ready to answer for my actions. You think being some kind of hero is going to get you out of this? 
You deserve one thing, to die exactly the same way as your friend, like a dog. Are you sure you want to kill him? Won't it make him a martyr? This type of thing could be used by those who still support the government. You know what he did, and what he stood by and let others do. All those people who died to quench their thirst for power. And you would spare him? Uh, dude, you're the one who sacrificed Green Hope for your ideals. You're not really that much better, dude, in, in the grand scheme of things. You could prophetize and all this other stuff, but you're just as bad as those guys are because of what you sacrificed to make make this happen so don't judge but anyway uh yeah those those praetorian guards that we fought the two technomancers and all those guys that was the final boss of the game that's it like the rest of it is dialogue and the ending credits here so this is the final choice of the game do we do we martyr honor grant or do we let him live since we've been trying to be a nice guy this whole time and everything so uh best way to do it is uh um uh is to let him be judged by by his peers for what he did um and uh you know keep him alive and not make him a martyr so yeah i think he has the right to be judged and like i said you don't you don't have the right marco just after what you did so i know what he did but it's not up to us to decide if he lives given his crimes he has to appear in front of a judge in front of the people even if it's just putting off the inevitable i thank you roy justice means killing those who could have saved innocence it would be the right thing to do all right if that's your wish roy but there's no place for you in the resistance. I doubt your commitment to our cause, and we can't have that. After your compromise with abundance, I'm not sure I'd have wanted to stay anyway. Bye, Marco. And that's it. So now we check out that blog and based our decisions on what happened, we see what becomes of this whole situation, you know. What, uh, yeah. So, in the name of the resistance and right ideas of freedom for the people, I've committed sabotage, spied, even killed. For the sake of a man who, in the name of his ideas, didn't hesitate to betray his guild. But the end sometimes justifies the means. Thanks to our actions, the Technomancers are now under constant resistance surveillance. Their dreams of power are at an end, this time. Marco even wanted to destroy the Order, but I managed to get him to understand it would be a mistake. Aurora needs them regardless. Mary once thought about joining them, but I convinced her to stay with me. Whatever the future holds, at least we'll meet it together. Tenacity has decided to hunt for the Resistance. He's looking for traitors. Anyone and everyone suspected of participating in all the horrible things. This will probably lead to a lot of cleansing. Judy hates the idea, but she can't stop the people from holding grudges, and stopping Marco's fanaticism is even harder. Aurora will have to set up a new government. I hope, of course, that it'll be more just, but I'm not dreaming. There will always be tyrants ready to take over the guild ready to dominate the people for their own ends. And to be honest, Marco fits the profile perfectly. As usual, Judy will keep debating to try to defend her dream, and she even asked me to help, but since I'm no longer welcome there, I'm thinking of leaving Chatelaire and going to another city where I'll be able to see how things turn out. The battle is clearly not over yet. Abundance won't give up the struggle despite Marco's politicking. If he thought giving them green hope would be enough for them, even though we still have a war hero, He'll soon be sent to trial. If they let him off, I fear he'll just become the leading opponent of the new government. Anyway, for the moment, life goes on and Aurora can now dream of a better future. One that innocents who sacrificed himself for this dream will never know. And so I write the final words of the war log of Innocent Smith to give it a proper ending. Farewell, kid.
All right, and that's the end of uh, Mars Warlogs, the Resistance Path. And obviously, the epilogue slightly changes depending on some minor decisions, mainly who, if you kill Marco or not, and if you kill Honor Grant or not. That pretty much affects the, those two choices are the, what affects the final ending of it. And if you kill Marco, Judy becomes the leader of the Resistance, and you take her to the base. And I believe you can also still take another companion, but she doesn't become immediately controllable, if I recall correctly. And then when you get to Honor, same thing, although Judy isn't as, a, I think she still brings up the thing, same thing, but she's not as aggressive as Marco is when it comes to doing that, so, but she still leaves it up to you. Um, what I, I think what I'll do is, I don't know if I'll tag it on the end or just make this a, a, make like a bonus little episode, like what, um, what happens at the end if you choose to kill Marco and Judy, just because those two basically decisions affect the end of the, of the game. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, the resistance path, obviously, I, luckily it doesn't go the whole, the resistance is clearly a good thing. Um, cause some games will, if you do a resistance storyline, they always make it to where they're clearly the better choice because they're fighting for the rights and all this other stuff. But at least they do the thing where at least some of the leaders are a bit super aggressive in what they're doing that like maybe the resistance isn't always the best choice in some situations. Some cases it is, sometimes it's not. In this case, Marco doing what he did to try and win, uh, you know, win for the resistance of people. He was willing to give up a, a whole city, and, you know, green hope for that. You know, obviously realistic, we probably should have killed him, but I wanted to show off the ending where we keep him alive and doing that. So yeah, I think I'll do a bonus episode where I'll do the other ending. Um, I probably might change the difficulty and set it just to easy because I did this whole playthrough on difficult or expert mode just to show that you, how difficult it could be. And really, overall, the game itself, even on expert mode, was difficult at times, but wasn't crazy difficult. I play games harder that were either on normal mode or just hard mode. So if you want an easier time, I, but still want a bit of a challenge and you didn't want to have some of the frustrations I did, although really my frustration could have easily been resolved if I'd spent my money more regularly, but I kept hoarding my money till like the end of the game and I was almost overqualified for the final bit because I could have just thrown bombs at every single occasion and not have to re, like that one encounter I redid a couple times, I could have just thrown bombs at them, and I, but I was wanting to save it. You know, I'm really bad about that type of stuff. But, uh, but overall, I like this game. But I understand why people don't like it because it is definitely a is definitely a B ish type of game, which means it tries its hardest to be a AAA title, which without the funding, so it tries to have this kind of a, a story, you know, around this like Mars colony and everything like that. Um, and obviously, it's a short tale; it doesn't last very long, three chapters. But you do get an extra chapter or different chapter with Honor Grant. But the thing is, we still go to Green Hope and we still do a lot of the same side quests. It's just the story slightly different because you're helping Honor instead of uh, instead of the Resistance. So it's not too different out of that. But for one of their first outings, I don't know if this is their very first game. I haven't actually looked into everything they've done. I just know their games outside of this. This one, the, this one was the first one that was I encountered. But overall, I enjoyed it. But like I said, if people didn't like it or thought it was too slow or graphically is a bit weird at times, all this other stuff, or some of the minor bugs that occurred in the game, which weren't that many. Uh, when the game first came out, from what I remember, there were. But they've fixed a lot of them since then. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I like the music of the game. I thought Roy was kind of an interesting character, depending on how you build him, either to be a good guy or a bad guy. Uh, the twist that Innocence wasn't actually the hero, but Roy instead was a little different you know you thought you're gonna play the wide hide you know curious character and the fact if you choose the resistance in a sense dies uh but uh yeah different different chance um uh, overall i thought there was an interesting case of world building there probably not enough in it um if it was a true rpg probably would have been a bit more options more side characters to talk to to build the world but i thought it did an okay amount of job although there was a couple times there when i first played the game i kind of got lost in like what was going on not that they weren't being cryptic or anything like that just sometimes i was like unaware of like really what our what our goals were as roy you know in the long run was i guess just a because at first you think it's just roy just wants to get out and basically be free but then at some point he just i guess would join the resistance or whatever he decides to fight against the technomancers and abundance and all this other stuff in these guilds to you know keep fighting the fight or whatever but it kind of just it kind of loses it some part like you don't really get a good chance for motivation until like you know until you get a couple of choices in there but yeah overall like i said i i enjoy the game like i said i would i would definitely give it this is one of those games i would give a six out of seven because i think a lot of games like that of this era like these types of games deserve that because they're not triple a 
whether or not these like great indie tiles are like 10 out of 10s but i still had a interesting fun experience with it despite some of the weirdness and obviously if you play it on easier mode you'll probably just mop the game through this but i did the difficult mode too and like the achievement as well on this file but but that's it for the resistance file but now we have to see what happens when uh, roy decides to join honor grant instead and see how his fight through the channels of um I guess you'd say through the official channels because if Honor Grant is officially part of the group, but he's try trying to fight it from within. But what does he have to decide? Will innocents have died for nothing this time? Or will a chance of miracle have him help us in the final path? We'll find out next time as we play Honor Grant's path and Mars Warlogs. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.